All right, hello, welcome. Thank you for joining. Today, uh, the Sims 4 for Rent expansion pack is releasing. And I've had this burning question on whether or not we could actually build on top of these penthouses. Now, I know that it's going around that you can't build on a penthouse, but I don't understand why. So I decided to take my six hours <laughs> and attempt to build on top of a penthouse before we get the expansion pack. As you can see, there are many apartments plenty of apartments but this one here fountain view penthouse is the apartment we're going to start working on um you cannot build inside of a shell i understand that but there's no reason for why you shouldn't be able to build on these other lots that um, allow for manipulation the only thing you have to worry about in my opinion and we will see if i'm right uh, is that you cannot erase or get rid of the, what do you say? You can't get rid of the elevator. So here I am checking out the building that I'm going to attempt to turn into a real estate property or residential rental. Right now it is set as rental. Oh, sorry. Right now it is set as residential. So as you can see, everything in this place, you can't hit bulldoze because you would delete the elevator and that is essential for this building to function. So instead, um, you manually remove everything um, that you don't want to keep. You can add it all back or uh, you can change it to whatever it is you want it uh, to become. So as that's what I'm doing here is simply removing uh, the items that I don't plan to keep. So then I'm going to color the building to match or try to match the rest of the building, um, the building below. Uh, we want it to be aesthetically pleasing. So that is what I'm doing here. And then I add in or add back uh, the matching door to the penthouse. Again, over here, just removing items that I'm later gonna end up adding back anyway. Uh, but my creative, you know, ideas weren't fully developed. I just knew I wanted to remodel this particular building to function with the new expansion pack. So here we are doing that. Um, I'm, I have my speed at two times the speed. I wish I could make it go faster, but I'm going to jump ahead. As you can see, uh, the exterior of the building is editable. I don't know if they're going to change this uh, because I saw some other YouTubers showing that you could even remove uh, the exterior windows to portions of the building that you don't own. And to me, that seems um, not a good idea. We haven't been able to do that before. And I don't know if that was just an oversight and I don't want to glitch the game. So I only edit the portion of the building that I own, which you can see where it turns red and I can't put this beam, um, this column. And that lets you know you don't own that portion of the building. So, I just obviously continue. So I'm gonna try and find a door that matches. That's the other hard part, is trying to find the matching pieces. So I'm gonna skip ahead just because to make life easier for us. And I do my best, I think I do okay with finding windows that match. Um, and then uh, we move on. So, I'm going to fast forward and just get to where I have basic, the basic structure of the building. Now here I am just filling out the roof because I had to come up with this on my own uh, because I changed the building. So I, I like how it turns out in the end. 
All right, interior. This area in the hallway where the elevator is, is going to be, um, it's going to be the communal area, the um, free space, if you will. Uh, I just want to make sure I have it at the highest speed. Okay, so I'm extending this area and we're going to end up actually changing the back part of my apartment. So I end up with three apartments up here in the end. I'm going to spare you me trying to figure out how to do the layout. <laughs> it took me forever to get the layout working. So yeah this is what i ended up with um which was very impressive i did not want to use a lot of packs but i did want to use all the kits so you're gonna see me using a lot of the kits throughout the video but the reason why i like this particular apartment here is it was very very cute um Again, I didn't have any storyline for either of these apartments, but I decided to go with uh, the Star Wars theme. I know we, we are not friends uh, with Star Wars, but I did end up with something that I enjoyed. And so that's what I kept. But yeah, there are all these uh, flags that I didn't know had this many swatches. And I saw this one here and thought, oh, this is perfect. And suddenly, you know, it became that macho, <laughs> that macho um, penthouse or, you know, guys, guys pad. So I, I stuck with that theme and I just, I just decided, you know what, if you can't beat them, join them. And I went in and I, I got several items, not too many. I didn't want to overdo it, um, but I went in and I got a few items that would look like little trophies or collector's items. Uh, so in my mind, the, the Sim who's going to own this apartment is probably, and, and it could be a girl as well, but I, I felt masculine with the dark colors and so I'm probably gonna put um, a male sim who is pretty classy I mean I think you know he's got some posh look unless my favorite word now I guess <laughs> but he's got some posh looking furniture you know he's pretty classy but he is a avid fan of Star Wars and so he's got some mementos maybe he went to the amusement parks and by the way, I didn't know we had this many robots in this pack. I found them, obviously, while doing this video. And I was just unaware that we had so much clutter uh, that you could use. And I think some of this even functions like a radio, not just decorative. Um, but we went ahead and added a few uh, good pieces in my opinion. Yeah, see all these robots? That is pretty neat. Um, but anyway, I don't use those robots. I, I wanted to keep it nice and classy. So we, we are just gonna use a minimum amount. Um, but I do go ahead and I finished his bedroom. I hope it shows the bathroom. I probably fast forwarded already. Um, again, I had no idea what I was doing until it happened. That's how I tend to build. Uh, it's very organic. It just develops as I play. Uh, sometimes I don't even finish the apartments or residential lot until someone's living in it. And then I come up with ideas on what to add to the apartment or residential. I keep saying apartment. <laughs> uh, but anyway... Um, I do uh, feel that this apart this yeah this apartment would be for a young man so a female absolutely could live here but the furniture and the clothing that I put on the rack uh, is for a male and so I will probably put a male sim 
in this particular apartment. I'm hoping that I show the restrooms. Yeah, I think I do. So just putting up a couple of, uh, you know, posters and movie posters. I think this character really loves um, the cinemas, going to the shows and things like that. Out here, I was going to have this as communal area, but I decided against it because if you look at all the apartments below it, no one has furniture on this particular balcony. So we do end up closing it off. Um, and instead, um, I end up using the secondary patio um, and um, yeah I'm sorry one moment Okay. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so here we are just trying to find the decals uh, for the light switches. I do eventually end up finding those. And then this is the second apartment. You can kind of see the bathroom for the first apartment over there uh, at the top. But on the right here is gonna be a female's apartment. I do end up using um, what do you call it a platform which I can't stand using platforms but there was no way for me to feel like this apartment could have a little bit of separation and this apartment does not have the separate bedroom I didn't want to block the windows and the way this apartment was laid out uh, I decided to just go ahead and put a platform for the bed area so I duplicate the bathroom uh, uh, I think I match it completely, but it might be a little different. Yeah, I think it is going to be slightly different just because of the orientation of the apartment. But, ooh, I don't know what was clipping there, but <laughs> uh, over here we have the um, loft area. And then I throw in the kitchen area. And I wanted it to stay cozy and warm. Uh, I would imagine that you would have used the same fixtures and appliances as the first apartment. So that's what we do here. This apartment is going to be a little bit brighter. Um, I end up um, adding in, you know, some lighter colors because I have decided that it is going to be uh, for a young female. In my mind, this person is very much into uh, wellness. And so there's gonna be like some a yoga mat, some items, you know, that give you that impression that this character's into wellness. So I do use the new TV that looks like a photo I'm um, very happy to try that out. And then I use some decorative items. I love what I did here with the flamingo on the desk, on the table. That just really set the apartment for me was the flamingo. So I knew we had a poster and I just had to use it. So yeah, she likes flamingos. Um, at this point, I am trying to, um, you know, decide whether or not uh, I can try and close off 
the bedroom. But again, it doesn't work out for me, and so I just keep it a half wall. Um, let's see here. Wanting to fill in the rest of this open space because now that I have everything in place, um, it feels empty and open. So it takes me a while and uh, surprisingly, I end up going with a fish tank, um, believe it or not. Um, I thought that if she was into yoga and, you know, um, wellness, I put some wellness books out on her table. Um, I thought maybe I, I myself love a fish tank. Uh, just hearing even the waters bubble, even if you don't have fish in it, a very nicely decorated fish tank with nice lighting. It's just there's something peaceful about it to me. So I went ahead and gave her a fish tank. And let me see, what am I doing here? I think I was still just trying to put more personality. Uh, so I decided to use the City Living um, decor items. Now over here we are going to have some open spaces because I do want it to feel like an apartment community. So I decided to use this back area. It was a bathroom uh, but I deleted the bathroom and I just made the apartment that the bathroom went to a little smaller. So there's going to be a total of three apartments up here. One is a lot larger and I used the, oh, what is it? The um, industrial loft kit. So happy to use that kit. Uh, so I went ahead and turned this into a laundromat because EA claimed that we were going to be able to see the characters come out and actually use the laundromat. So my idea is that I know we're getting mailboxes and water heaters, um, things that can break. And if you put them in the communal area, oh, that's the fire alarm, uh, which should work, I assume, for the whole building because it is in the communal area. But yeah, EA was saying that if you put these items, these um, the electric circuit block box, the water heater, I assume the fire alarm as well, that they will work for your tenants um, and you don't have to do one for each individual apartment. I hope that that's going to be true because these apartments are so small, there's no way I would have been able to fit them in to each unit. So um, this is just me putting out a couple of extra, you know, decorative pieces to make it feel lived in. Um, Got to gotta remember that toilet paper roll, which obviously I have forgotten. <laughs> um, but yes, um, we then have uh, this back area here. And I was going to divide this into two apartments, but I ended up deciding not to do that. And let me skip ahead a little bit. So this is just a placeholder, this area back here. I know I'm jumping around, but this area back here is where I'm gonna put the water heater. And I didn't want tenants having access to that patio, that deck outside. So I actually end up closing that off, um, but I am going to uh, end up using this area for like a utility room, if that makes sense. So the water heater, the electric circuit uh, box, things that you as the landlord would have to go and, and handle. Um, so then over here I decided if I block off, yeah, you can see there that I ended up blocking off the door. If I blocked off the apartment, patio out there, then I think that the communal area needs to be somewhere for them to be able to have parties um, or just a relaxation area where you can possibly grill. And so I added this area here. It looks a little weird, but there's an L-shaped hallway that you can get go through and you can enjoy uh, the use of the patio. So here we are, 
and I'm gonna grab a few pieces to put outside. go so I end up using just one table and I couldn't decide if I wanted a hot tub or a hot springs but the hot springs ended up not fitting so we do stick with the hot tub and then we um, put out some chairs for seating. Not too many, the apartment is only going to be for those, um, well I shouldn't say the apartment, the loft up here, the, the patio, is only gonna be used for the people on this floor. So in my mind, it wouldn't be that, that many people because there's only three apartments up here. So because there's only three apartments up here, we really didn't need that much seating. And it was gonna look very cluttered had I put out like a ton of furniture. So I do shrink down these lights. Um, yeah, I put these lights here. It looks really nice at night, I think. I like it a lot. All right, so I'm gonna skip ahead. We end up having space for a bar and also um, uh, what did we get? We got a grill, we got a bar, and we got a hot tub. I almost put a garbage can out there, but there should be a garbage chute in the hallway. So I decided not to put a garbage chute outside because I didn't want characters accidentally or intentionally really uh, going out there to throw items away. I only really want to see them out there on occasion so I didn't want to put too many attractive items on the patio because technically I think my girl who's gonna own the uh, top floor um, I think that she wouldn't want to see <laughs> that much activity out there. You can see it through her windows. Uh, but on occasion, you know, she's going to be throwing a party and they will be welcome to come out if they want to. So this is the owner, in my opinion. This is where the owner would live. And I was so lucky uh, because this apartment already had like a industrial loft kitchen built to it. So I just tweaked it a little bit and added my own touch to it. But I was so happy I finally, finally, finally got to use this particular kit because we got this industrial loft kit a while ago, uh, but I was intimidated to use it, or I wouldn't say intimidated. I just didn't have a lot of opportunities to use it because I don't usually live in the apartments um, and I tried to make my own apartment once and I just didn't enjoy it because you kind of need these high-rise views uh, to, to enjoy this city so I'm really hoping that uh, it was a misunderstanding uh, with EA telling people that they couldn't build apartments in the penthouses I can understand you couldn't build it in the shells of the other um, apartments in Samai Shuno but for the penthouses they just operate as if you were on the ground and if you if you don't understand or you don't don't get what I'm saying if you go into the lot tag where you can choose the lot I've turned some of these penthouses into restaurants so I know it can be done um, as long as you don't delete the essential items you can turn these into whatever lot tag you want. Uh, like I said, I've built them into restaurants, into uh, bars. And so here I am just changing the ceiling tiles, which is something I typically forget to do. 
but I actually remembered to do it this time. And yeah, I, it, I really enjoyed how this turned out. So this is going to be my, I guess, landlord or, oh, this was an error. I do fix that where the windows ended up coming down. Let me skip ahead where it is repaired. So this is the boring part with me just fixing the ceiling. But uh, let me go back because I want you to see the walkthrough. I'm sorry about the, uh, the camera here. All right, let's just walk through. So I end up doing the ceilings and we take a little quick tour because I just want to make sure uh, every ceiling had coverage. That is very, very important to me. Um, I think the lots that are in Mount Komarebi, see here, you, you can see the sky. Uh, that happens in some of the lots in Mount Komarebi. I think it was when we first got the platforms, uh, we were not used to building with them. And so if you look up in a lot of the buildings in Mount Komarebi, sadly, you can see that the ceiling tiles are missing. So it's a pet peeve of mine. I have many, <laughs> but this is one of them where I did not want uh, to leave any exposed uh, ceiling. So I go in and I do fix this. I'm going to leave this part on here because the windows kept moving and I'm going to show you how I get it to stop, uh, how I work around it. So instead of pulling uh, this all the way forward, I ended up having to just add in another section and then um, pull it from there. So give my my old self, uh, my, my past self here, <laughs> a few seconds to figure out what it was I needed to do. So that doesn't work. You can't put it there. All that did was change the tile floor. <laughs> uh, but I do figure it out right about Come on, right about now, I think I'm going to add the piece. So I get this brilliant idea. Um, and you can see the windows. You can see them trying to pull forward. And yeah, so I was just trying to figure it out over here. Oh, come on. I, I know I get it a, a little quicker than this. Here we go. This piece here. So I managed to pull out the wall this way without affecting the window and then you of course have to shape it you see when you go out of the zone it turns red so I end up having to move one window to get this to work out but it does work out trust the process look at me trying to figure it out how am I going to get this window back so here it is this is where it clues in that I could just drag it across and Close up the top here to make it a square again. Come on, come on, you can do it. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so now we're back in business and you simply drag the window back in place. And now, now every bit of every apartment is covered. And then here you just flicks your, your tile. That window looks like it's floating, but it's not really. It's just the way it looks when you're uh, just finishing up that particular build mode so it's not it's not floating um, I don't know why that little corner edge didn't have a square but you're not gonna see it anyway uh, when it comes to the trim all right now we're done now we're done so at this point I'm just making sure it matches the rest of the building and it looks really really good so I'm gonna skip ahead and uh, don't know why I got lag all of a sudden there it goes sometimes there's lag and I don't understand why I did see some other youtubers talking about the lag as well um, but I I didn't have a lot of lag I don't want to give the wrong impression but sometimes I did get a little bit of lag for whatever rhyme or reason um, and then this is me just putting a couple of extra uh, pieces around the apartment just to make it feel lived in. I do end up adding quite a few plants 
um, but oh my gosh, I absolutely adore this apartment. I think I might have my character live here or some character that I plan to play as uh, live in this, this part of the apartment. It just is adorable. And it may look a little dark to some people, uh, but I like it moody. I like the lighting to be a bit moody. So I do not want overhead lights. I try my best not to add too many overhead lights um, because it just feels more realistic and real uh, if I use lamps. So I, this is the utility area. I was trying to squeeze more crap in here, but I don't know why I was trying to do that. So I'm gonna come back when we get the pack today and I'm gonna change out the water heater and the electric circuit box in this room so that they are accessible to the landlord to fix them when they break. And let me see, what else do we do? Um, this is me going back to put some details in the bathrooms. See, there's that lag again, just a little bit, but yeah, I don't know why it lags. All right, so then in the kitchen, I wanted to use some of the new utensils, or sorry, some of the new um, appliances that we got. I'm just going through all the kits because I know back in the day when we kits first came out, we didn't like kits, but I don't mind kits now. I know, I said it out loud. <laughs> but I actually, um, I go back and do final touches with uh, kits to add more personality to my houses. So we're friends now, I guess you could say. Um, I do think all this stuff could have been added to expansion packs. I don't know why they break them up into kits. Well, we know why, it's to make more money, but they really could have just added clutter. It's always been something that was missing from expansion packs is they don't add enough clutter like for the uh the San Shuno pack i would have liked some skis you know um to hang on the wall uh or some skis to lean up against the door or just a single pair of boots to put near my door and i don't know let me not get on a rant about the kits but we would use less custom content if kits could do everything, but you know. Here's the layout before I go on a rant. This is what I ended up with. This is the finished product, I believe. I am going to go back and add uh, whatever um, comes with the kits, or, or sorry, the expansion pack today when it releases. And then I don't know if I can upload this, but if you want it to just you know copy it it's not that hard I didn't do too much um, but mainly the point of this uh, particular video was just to uh, show how you can actually in fact build on penthouses and all the lot traits if you uh, have access to your game even if you don't have the expansion pack right now go I, I challenge you to go into your game and look how many lot tags you can change this to. Every lot tag you, you have available is uh, accessible for this particular lot. And like I said in the past, I've made it a restaurant, I've made it a bar. As long as you don't delete that elevator, you're good. You can do whatever you want in these. But we will see for sure in the end uh, in a few hours, we will have access to the pack. When I go in to edit this, I will see. And uh, I'll be sad if it doesn't work. But if it does, I hope this video helped you guys out. This is the finished product. And uh, I'm going to leave it here. Thanks for joining. Bye-bye.